a little bit about Bell Canada before we just, just set the stage. Well, Bell is the largest uh, telecommunications company in Canada. Um, there's sort of four core areas within the, the Bell business. One is uh, business markets. Um, that's where I run the, the product and marketing group. Um, they serve the mid and large market uh, clients nationally. Um, there's another division which is uh, Bell Mobility, so uh, as you'd expect, uh, kind of mo mobile phones and services. Uh, then the consumer business unit, um, obviously cons covering you know, internet, home phone, TV. And then uh, the fourth area is the uh, media business, and we own a number of media properties, the major uh, CTV national news channel. Uh, so those are the sort of four areas of uh, the BCE or Belcan family. In your, in your part of things, the business group, tell us about yeah. that business. Yeah, the business group um, is comprised of um, sort of four core areas. Uh, within that, I run all the product and marketing groups. Um, and we have another team that runs the sales, uh, sales team, sort of our large project delivery and then kind of our operations. Um, uh, we serve uh, about uh, 1,800 enterprise accounts on a national basis. And there's another about 10,000 uh, mid-market customers. Uh, and those are across the, across the country. Okay, so one of, one of the areas that we're focused on, as is the entire industry, is of course 5G. Yep. So what are, what are you seeing there? What are your plans? And Yeah, I mean, if, cer certainly in, in 5G, um, we've done a fair amount of uh, you know, testing, getting ourselves ready for 5G. Um, we've deployed a lot of fiber uh, as well. Uh, you know, I think one of the important facts of uh, 5G is yeah, you actually need a lot of wired network to be able to yeah. uh, provide 5G services. Um, we've sort of always been at the, really at the forefront of of um, you know putting um, wireless technology in place in the, in the country, so uh, we're really still at the forefront with 5G. Uh, again, doing lot, lots of testing and sort of getting ourselves ready for, and for prime time. Uh, so it's certainly at the top of uh, top of one of our strategies. Okay, so how are you? Are you 100% fiber at this point? How are you? Uh, we have a, we have a pretty high fiber penetration in in uh, kind of a number of provinces: uh, Ontario, Quebec, Atlantic Canada, the provinces in Atlantic Canada. Um, some of the uh, provinces out west in Manitoba as well. Um, the thing that uh, we're focused on is a combination of fire, fiber kind of in the core uh, areas of the uh, ma major cities and then looking at essentially you know, over time technologies like 5G would be used uh, you know, in some of the more remote locations to serve uh, you know, as a copper replacement over time. So what are, what are the top challenges that your business is seeing at this point? Well, from a bit, I think in the in the in the business seg segment specifically. But also technology. Yeah. yeah, well, I'd say I mean some of the some of the challenges, you know, is you know, how do you launch services faster? Uh, you know, that's probably one of the the biggest challenges. Uh, business clients in particular, you know, uh, the pace of change, the things that they're trying to transform within the organization. They need more bandwidth. They need more security. Um, you know, the way they're managing and routing traffic to the cloud, for example, has changed pretty dramatically. So. Um, you know, they're really trying to figure out, you know, how do, how do, how do, do I get faster services, you know, from you know, the community, whether that's IT, telecommunications. Uh, they need new security because of threats. They need more bandwidth because they're, you know, doing something different in their environment. And, you know, the network can't be, a, and the technology can't be an impediment to that. They need it to be an accelerant. And what, what do you do to meet those challenges? Well, I mean, what we, we've done really over the last, uh, I'd say, six, six months is, um, um, done a couple of things. One is um, about a, uh, a month ago in October, we introduced a, a Bell Virtual Network Services platform, and, and really what that what that is is uh, we virtualize the edge. So you know now the client gets a universal CPE, an edge device that uh, you can now turn on multiple services. So in the in the past they would have bought a router, you know, and then they would need a firewall. Okay, firewall goes beside it. Need a load balancer, put a load balancer beside it. Uh, so we launched this virtual network services platform, and uh, the first service offer on that was uh, Cisco-based uh, SD-WAN Viptel technology. And then each quarter now, we'll be launching new services on top. So instead of the customer having to, you know, go procure new equipment, go through that long life cycle of getting installed, getting configured, it's all done through a single pane of glass where now they can just add services on top. So it, it's kind of the, in many ways, the, the model of the cloud, right? I mean, you can spin up a. Um, you know, spin up a server, um, spin up a bunch of workloads in the cloud environment. Uh, the network's now starting to get to a place where you know, I can do that from a network perspective. Uh, in the past, it was all dedicated hardware, dedicated ASICs to go do that. Okay, so where where, where you stand on your NFV deployment? Yeah, I mean that, that that's a very good example of it. Like that Bell Universal CPE and that Bell Virtual Network Services. It, it's a that's exactly what it is. It's a it's a virtual network function. Um, we used uh, a uh, ONAP standard, uh, open network automation platform, and uh, we're using that closed loop to, uh, orchestration 
to go and turn on the new services. So uh, we were fully, got out fully, fully on board with uh, really automating, yeah. uh, automating the network. Um, we started a little more closer to the edge of the network because it's a little more impactful to the client. <laughs> You know, let's get to the edge, be able to you know, turn on those virtual services. Uh, obviously, we'll do similar things in the back of our network, uh, but you know, to create the most client value, uh, you know, we started with that edge so that you know, they can eliminate some of that duplication of equipment, which has certainly been a challenge for, for many clients. And you know, a, a challenge from, again, service delivery. When you want to add another service, it's just too long, right, in the traditional networking world. So as you were deploying NFE, what were some of the biggest challenges you faced? Yeah, I think the, the, the one of the biggest challenges is, uh, you know, there's a lot of hype around it's easy. Um, and it's not easy. You're, you're, I mean, you're virtualizing a network. It's a, it's a very different thing, you know, if, uh, you know, there's 100 years of networking heritage or, you know, that says you know, it's a custom ASIC and it does a very specific thing. Um, you know, you really need to you really need to test how that works in uh, in the virtual world. So you need enough compute power, you know, to to kind of run the virtualized network function. And then, you know, now when you want to add more virtual functions, you know, you have to really have to plan and and understand the life cycle of the technology to do that. It's it's not like oh, I'm just going to buy a software defined WAN and plug it in and kind of do it do it in an easy way. It's the technology is not that easy. Right? So what are you doing in conjunction with Cisco? Well, in Cisco, with Cisco, um, there's two things. One, uh, we launched that Bell Virtual Network Service uh, earlier this year, and the first uh, virtual network function was the, the, the Cisco VIPTEL. So we chose that as the first SD-WAN uh, uh, platform as part of our service offer. Um, we're now looking at kind of what's next. So um, Cisco's got a pretty interesting catalog of um, capabilities coming as part of the ENCS platform. That's something that we heard a little bit more about today. Uh, more security capabilities, um, you know, so a lot of the things that uh, you sort of we see on the Cisco roadmap are very much some of the things that we see on our own our own roadmap. So you know, hopefully those things will sort of collide together. And you know, when you know, clients are looking for the next sort of virtual function from Cisco, instead of having to kind of buy it and deploy it themselves, it'll be part of the Bell Network as a service offer, which just her certainly her helps to simplify the world for them. All right, all right. I guess that would do it. Thank you very much. Thank you.